Hey everybody, Asher here. Welcome back to more Star Sector, where today we're continuing where we left off, minus the fact that I had an early power outage here when I was recording last. So that's very exciting. We do know that we are in the eastern side of this system over here, or this, the core worlds over here. After last episode, not even being able to get back to uh, any of these black holes, which would be nice to get to. But the world's very dangerous, and I only have a few combat ships available to us, even if you count the Hound as a combat ship. And that's where I've been largely focused on exploration so far. We've got another Mud Skippers, another Mud Skipper, and a whole series, oh, excuse me, of Mud Skippers. So when I look at this mining station again, and if we could try to explore it, that is engaged and uh, guarded by one glimmer, I'll tell you two things. I have another ship at home. It's the ship that's in the title screen of stuff, and I think this glimmer is going to be coming after for us in just a second. Um, I have a more combat-oriented ship I can bring from home, so I kind of want to do that. I also want to explore some of these things first. We can always run to sell stuff, so... We know the orbital station is here and ready for the exploration. And then I can come back with a better ship. Boo, hiss, I know, but also... I actually probably need to just go ahead and do a quick cut to the left here, and then we can go to the right. I would love to find another gate than the one gate I found. Which, it's, a, it's an important gate. We'll talk about that here in just a second. In the Rama system. Now let me tell you what's nice about Rama. It's got a gate, it's got a stable location, and a sensor array that's already available. It's got some planets I could drop some mining bases on. That's not prohibited by the rules. I'm only allowed to build one colony. Verana at Rana? That's funny. I don't know why that's funny. But it is a tundra world, and I'd love to explore it. The problem is that next to this fringe jump point is um, some hostiles. So, oh, we, uh, pinged. We, pinged our, we pinged our way into existence as Star Sector goes sometimes. Well, um, let's go dark before we exit because I think we had some hostiles looking for us before. And they're looking for us again. This is the joy of um, starting up after having an interruption after not playing for a little bit. Once again, I do have some ship name stuff that I want to do. Feel free to put any of the requests in the comments. But also understand that, as you can see, our ship situation is very tenuous right now. Don't get too attached or offended if your ship ends up dying in a hurry. Okay, so another warning beacon. This warning beacon stacked on top of stuff. That's unidentified sensor. Oh, we have a gate. We have a second gate. All right, let's go dark. I want to see what this is. This feels like it could be a base of some kind. I'm hoping it's not a... Uh, I'm not seeing a bunch of sensor pings from it, so it's another orbital habitat. That's good. Oh, we got some ruins here, too. Okay, so the nice thing about this again is that it's guarded by a damn glimmer. Shit. Okay, well, we're not going to mess with that right now. But we have a cryovolcanic planet that has another thing down below. We have some ruins up here. That I can potentially explore, but the big prize is the gate because that's going to let me send some shit in here. So survey says I'm actually lower on supplies than I thought. Extensive ruins. Well, that's exciting. How much crew? I thought I had enough crew. Um, explore the ruins of Chlor. Well, once again, we get another nanite repair module. Apparently those are very common and they're supposed to be eaten like snacks. A tectonic attenuator is a little more interesting. Powerful and specialized terraforming package that will um, disperse large-scale magma flows preventing earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Allows permanent removal of a planet's tectonic ability. Well, that's really powerful. We also have some organics I could potentially grab, but I don't know if I'm going to. I'm just going to let most of this stuff float in orbit right now. Because if we're going to gate anyway... I may as well come back here in a second, so. It's not as valuable as the other thing I put into a stable orbit, but we're gonna put it in a stable orbit here. So we're still going dark because there may be something down here. It's a research station. And I gained a story point, hooray. What do you bet this research station's guarded by a glimmer? 
Oh, we have a factory here. You make preliminary assessment, salvage crews find seemingly automated ship factory. It appears a surprise in good shape and completely usable. Um, we could sacrifice some ships to the factory. We did find an arsenal station that does that as well. I would rather see if I can pop this and get something good out of it. So let's salvage that. And what did we get? It looks like we got a lot of something. Got a viper wing blueprint, which I will learn. We got a tech locator. I wonder what that means. Measures the total radiation emitted. Well, uh, active 10 days until the fleet exists. Increases the range at which a fleet can be detected by 50% while active. Only usable in hyperspace. It does not provide false readings. So it's it's great. I got a I got a fun thing and I don't even know for sure what it does. It's one of the nice things about all these mods is that it adds so many items that you you kind of dilute the pool a little bit of what you can get. But we got some really damn good weapons. That's um even a hyper velocity driver, one of the best vanilla weapons. Um we're gonna grab the fuel, grab the supplies that we can hold. And we're going to put this into a stable orbit as well. And let's double tap. And this time we got a Kingston Forge template. Once again, might be selling those Forge templates because I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get something here. Not so excited about that. Okay, but we're getting we're getting a lot of stuff. And I'll be able to pick up some of the stuff in a little bit. But anyway, cargo pods. Put these into a stable orbit. So here's the thing. Is that we have all this shit here. And it's good. Almost makes you want to explore Alm over here a little bit. Okay, we got... Wow, we've got a lot of shit. If I had to guess, that over there to the left is what I was concerned about before. Your over cargo capacity by how much... That's because I'm carrying a bunch of ore, so that's not great. So I saw another ping over here, and it's a equipment cache. Well, hello, equipment cache. Okay. Recovery shuttles are f fairly valuable. These are also good. Transplutonic ore, also good. If we sort by this, we get rid of the metals and we get rid of the transplutonic ore and we're just going to let them float into space. So somebody's been sleeping in my bed and dumping its trash all over the floor. All right. So we have somebody pursuing my fleet. Oh, that's only a radiant. Why wouldn't I go dark here? The good news is that next to this gate is another gate. The bad news is that we have another ship graveyard. We have a suborder order that's over here. I feel like I've been in this situation before, but I might be able to juke these guys if I go to an outer system jump point. I kind of want to activate this gate anyway. So this might be worth the story point to get to get this gate going. So we have even more ships available. I'm not going to just grab the Mud Skipper right now. Although the Dram Tanker is tempting. I want to scan the gate, travel through the gate. And where would be good? Joy? Joy might be best for now. We have even another fleet over here. Alright, so... What is up with this save? <laughs> Oh my god. It's like everywhere, everywhere is remnants. Everywhere that has a gate, remnants. Every, every waking hour, it's remnants. And I'm just sitting here wondering why am I traveling away from where I need to be going? Oh, okay. So, Reverie Fortress. We've got a lot of goodies to sell, so let's let's sell some goodies. Do we have a better market that we can drop these off at? Like the hi the hivers once again just make these things not as well sellable. Um, 
Unfortunately, not really. So let's get rid of... Um, this feels like I need to hold on to. At least um, like 100-ish. We want to keep the cores and we want to keep the weapons. We can ditch this. We've got all these things down here. I'm not going to sell any of this just yet. Except for you. Y'all can have this. Y'all can have that because I know it. Alright, so see, we're, we're making some money exploring. That's a plus. By the way, to the people lamenting in the comments about not being able to buy weapons, yep, that's just one of the rules. Alright, so we're at not too great on the supply train. A little bit better now. Guess one of the questions is, do I try to go back where I came from, or do I just try to drop off my assets somewhere? Because if I do, I'd need to go through the core worlds and try to find something. On the other hand, you know what? We do have storage available here. This is the one place where we do have storage. And I know technically I'm not supposed to buy storage from anywhere else. But if the worst happens for what I'm thinking of next, at least we know where all this shit is. And we can, we can pay the dock fees for our inventory for a little bit. It's not like we're parking a bunch of ships in here. Let's uh, add expanded cargo holds. That'll be fine. All right, so just a little more, a little more cargo space for everyone. All right. Scarred spacer. We can do, and we get there so we get a terraforming rig we got 90 days to complete it and the animated storyteller says by the way we can get this elite cruiser we just have to get to it first but we can't we can't do that one either yet so i've dropped off my stuff and the reason for that is that i'm thinking of doing something incredibly risky i could have gone down to western east and gone that we could do this other exploration here I could even definitely try to pop back in and just do these systems and work my way over here. But I'm half debating taking the gate and just popping back into that system. There is a patrol around that gate. I want to experiment with something. If I can go dark through the gate and then jam my way through the exit, then we can just get right back in there. The thing is, is that I don't know if it's possible to go dark through a gate. Seems kind of counterintuitive to be like, here's a gate. Let's go dark through it. We're going to try. Probably should have left some ships here for this little maneuver, but... Okay, so do we have any patrols here right now? I don't know yet. We have a dormant fleet. I am not going to take any of these ships. And we do have a remnant fragment that is patrolling. So that's that's me. I was like, oh my god, who's that? That's that's literally me. You may have wondered how I got into the situation. So we can go dark into the game. I just want to juke. But that's important science for later. When I say juke, I mean... We're going to go up here where the very convenient warning beacon is located up here. Because I want to see what's in the other planet. We have a, we have something floating up here. I have a feeling it's all up to no good. Returning to Undana Station. Contain potentially active autonomous weapons. Maybe so. I just, I just want to... Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. It's dangerous. Can you... Apparently we can't juke that way. Can we go this way? Because I kind of want to pick up the shit that I dropped off. Which is quite, quite a bit. And I already explored this place, so examine the pod bay doors, Hal. You don't need all those organics. That's probably the worst one to grab, but it's okay. 
Uh-oh. Didn't mean to ungo dark. Oh, didn't mean to sell all the shit either. Oh, that's why. All right, I was like, why is this not working? And we're gonna go dark again. And the cargo pod's here. Rather have the supplies. I'll take that blueprint. All right. Oh shit! So that revolutionary council, the people that we are friends with, they didn't pay their taxes, and now they've been eaten by the iron shell. That's that's a problem. But you know what's really great about that? Not only were they a faction that was friendly with me and now that friend's gone which is all the more reason for us to be scared to pop our head out in the open here as the pirates still kind of like us the um, iron shell where are they they're hostile with us our name is known to officials of the big the big turtle i have a feeling they're going to try to find me anyways the tax man often does so this orbital habitat this one was guarded by a glimmer, which I said before we were wanting to um, wait to kind of get that later. But hey, monthly expenses at fourteen hundred. This is this has got to be kind of a temporary, temporary shore leave for our supplies. So how do we want to do this? Let's go over here. It looks like there's ruins at this planet. Oh shit, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. So the good news is that there's Orm has ruins. The bad news is that we actually have a defense post over here. So we're just gonna try to sneaky sneak out. That's right, we're playing in remnant space today. Well, that kind of is a little bit of a buzzkill because like I have friends that are available. I don't know if faction reemergence is going to be back on. I don't know why the Iron Shell was just like, hey guys, you're eliminated. They weren't even particularly nice to us. So this is a dormant fleet that's just standing down. They're just taking a nap. And now that we're here, I guess we go back this way and finish up these stars. And then I want to take another poke at Rama. It's, it's scary. This is, this is why I chose this mod set in particular, is because there are some regular old factions and then there are some big overpowered factions. I would label Iron Shell as one of the big overpowered factions. Hey, we have a Rama. That's called Rama. All right, so fringe jump point, what do we got? Apparently we can go here. We have scavengers on an expedition. We have yet another orbital habitat and an unidentified entity. And a gate! And a jungle world. And a desertic world. Not that we can do anything with it. I am very concerned about what's going to happen here. Let's scan the gate first. So we have maybe some other candidates. All the good gate systems have... Um, is this, by the way, I thought that was a mid-threat one. Um, warning beacons... If everything is medium threat, nothing is medium threat. Okay, we have a low one over here. A high. Hopefully we won't have to go dark forever here, but we can definitely scan that gate. Start trying to do some exploration work, so that's a citizen on patrol. Dodge that. So I guess you're patrolling the weird orbit of the planet. I want to see what this is. And there's that's probably a dormant fleet, so there's a mining station. Okay, question. They're hostile, but they're dormant, so they're not coming after me right now. That one might be. 
We have automated defenses. It's a Lumen. Once again, I don't know if I want to fight a Lumen with the um, frigates that I have here. So you're still patrolling. And now you're seriously looking for me. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Danger Sector. I just wanted to look at the planets. That's it. Okay, let's see what's up here. So it looks like we got somebody... Oh boy. This doesn't look like it's going to work out very well for me. We have a comm relay, we have orbital habitat. We have somebody that's pursuing my fleet. We're going to e-burn early here. So Prima Madonna here at Jungle World. Another nav buoy. So there's just all kinds of bases here. Oh, damn. So we're going to try a shake and bake. Did not, did not shake and bake. I need my shit to be faster. Didn't get it. All right, so we know, we know there's some shit here. Can I scan it yet? No. But we can get out of here. So we know it's there. And the more the more time I waste running around here, the more exciting it's going to be. But we found another gate, and so I can always jump into there cuz I want to get my shit out of joy. I think we're going to need I think we're almost to the point where we don't bring around our um oh, we got a faction here. Reparation society decided to repair. So we're not going to stick around because apparently when we have a game full of overpowered factions, I can just get squashed like a bug. I bet that's another warning beacon. It's a medium warning beacon. What do you want to bet there is a gate in this system, too? Hey, look! The beacon's so nice, we get it twice. So both of these are warning systems. Looks like this jump gate is uh, confused. I still kind of want to jump in at dark. Seems like a terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway, because we do not have the benefit of transverse jumping. We have to live by means of dying. There's a watchtower for the remnants. Scary, but no gates. And um, good worlds if you like lava. Some people just look at those lava planets in all the sci-fi movies and are like, this is nice. Yeah, how many hours have we spent going dark so far this run? Oh, there's a colony here. Oh. Okay, we're going to um, ignore that star and work our way down here. Because we've almost made the loop. And then I can try to make my escape from Rama. Did we actually? We did check that star, so let's go down here. Remembering that there are so many subordos, ordos, and other shit. Pretty sure that's another warning beacon. Yes. Yes, it is. Could just name this episode. Pretty sure that's another warning beacon. Also, amazing that there are so many planets here for a brown dwarf. And they're shit. So, this is something I... It's, it may not totally be shit. There is a gate here. I don't know if approaching the gate at full speed with a bright column of fire behind me is a good idea. So we're not going to fly directly at the gate. Looks like we got some debris around the gate. That's good. So that means we do have an exit point. Question is, do I want to call it now? We got two more stars before I'm done with this exploration run. And I do want to get down to Rama. Let's do this because Rama's Rama's inactive gate is right near the fringe jump point. So let's try that. I don't think there's much else to do here other than potentially surveying stuff. But if I'm going to have to go blasting through even more remnants on this Nuzlocke challenge of, by the way, 
we didn't have like a linear progression we did the um vertical wall progression of oh yeah by the way this is this is the world and it sucks but as you can see we're not we're not so much spinning our wheels that's another beacon hey and here i was wondering where they all were let's see what we got down here maybe uh maybe another entry or exit the ator system with yet another gate, I did see the patrol around that one. And this one has a jungle world. So we're going to go dark immediately. That's a that's a hot gate. I don't think we can get that one yet. But we've got a lot of colonization candidates here. But for the whole, oh my god, the remnants have like squatted here. Let's go a little faster. If somebody comes after us... And they probably are. Okay. Yeah, I hate burning a story point there, but... Do you see what's coming from up here? So if I had just a little bit more patience... Maybe it wouldn't have come to that, but... Okay, outer system jump point. That fringe jump point... is not for this system, it's for this system. That's tricky. I want to see one more time. If we go dark in here... How, how many story points can I burn in an episode? The answer is a few. So we didn't grab this gate, but it seems like this part of space has a theme. And that theme is that... There's killer robots that want to shoot me. And I guess my other question is, do we have patrols? We got we got a remnant friggin' nexus over here. So if we don't have patrols, that's going to be kind of questionable. We have yet another mining station. Here we go. Do I dare? Do I dare try? I don't think I can. Unless they're turning in for the night. But we know we know what's there. So boop boop. Bye bye. Ship recovery. We got an eradicator, a scarab elite frigate, and an omen. Now people like omens. That's true. People like Eradicators. It's a 14th battle group, Eradicator. Unfortunately, um, wouldn't be able to use that for quite some time. Or we have a fourth battle group, Scarab. I think I am going to consider ship recovery, and I think... As fun as the Omen is, I think we do go for the Scarab. These special fleet ships tend to be really good. Okay, so. Captain's log. S Scarab also. Oh, wait, that's Captain's log. Scarab plus base by jungle. Okay, so. We got scary stuff, but our fleet, our fleet is growing. Um, we have small universal stuff. This is like a pretty decent laser boat. It's fast. Fourth battle group has these bonuses. It has some uh, demerits to it, but it may be worth my time here in just a little bit to... Uh, do we have one more planet to survey? We do. Addis. And Addis is probably not going to be as spicy. So once again, the good news is that we have a lot of places we could colonize. The bad news is that we have a lot we're going to have to clean out. Um, okay, so that's not ruins. That's just radiation. Okay. So someone tried to rebel against the iron shell. LOL, good luck. Okay, now I could just fly back to the core worlds. That's true. But remember that shit I was doing before? 
this place ended up being too spicy for um, what we were trying to go and investigate. But let's go to Rama and let's see if we can go to the French jump point. I would love to have a possibility of actually surveying a planet, but that may be better sent as a mission where I parked all my ships and regularly, ideally, I would just park everybody else and send my captain in and they get blown up out of the sky and magically escape and magically revive. This is a Nuzlocke run, and while I will tell you, and I hinted at this at the series introduction, that merely the captain, of, the death of Hannah Kessler does not mean the end of the run. There's reasons for that that I haven't gone into yet, but it doesn't mean we just needlessly throw our life away. That's not what she does. I say that as we pop into here. Fortunately, we caught the patrols as they were leaving, so that is some serious luck. We have the inactive gate over here. I may take a wide berth and see if I can get the Varana. Assuming it too... Oh, we actually have an Auric World over here. Assuming it too does not have other shit around it. And actually... Ooh, we got even more ship recovery. Mud Skipper, Proteon, Ship Tanker, Missile Destroyer. I'm not going to recover that right now. We're just going to leave it be. I want to be able to get some stuff later, so we're going to scan the gate. We're not going to travel through the gate right now. Um, but it's good to know that we have we have a lot of gates up here. That's really nice. Um, and we can get to the core worlds. We're going to be gating back to Joy in a minute because our port fees are expensive. And are you just patrolling? i got to learn Nell's patrol routes. Because right now I'm just I'm just randomly drifting into space. We're just dark. You can't see us. As long as we don't have any patrols near this planet, we have something near the planet. It doesn't look like a hostile entity. All right. So Varana and the Rana system. We can actually survey it. It has tectonic activity, which I can actually cancel out. Coldness, which I can't cancel out. Okay. That's a class 5 system with scattered ruins. Nice. And other than organics, that wasn't a great return. We don't need that many organics. Emergency fuel scoop. Extracts volatiles from stars and nebula. That's that's pretty nice. Okay. Then another supplies VPC. Okay. Oh, that's a Medusa. I thought that was like an orbital base. So that's just a Medusa that's just hanging out there. Okay. I don't like all that sensor contact. But I'm confident in my ability to fly away if shit gets bad. I want to see what Apple and uh, Hanuman have. The problem is we're going to see kind of what the patrol routes look like again here. So that's just debris fields. That's a stable location. We got lots of debris over here. Hegemony's failed at raiding. Good job. So we got somebody here who's patrolling. Let's look at this debris field. Whoa. They just gave up. Nice. So they're like, somebody's putting their hand in the cookie jar here. It's me. And this is where having my extra scanner skill would be really nice. Okay, so we got ruins here. Got widespread ruins on a class 5 planet. I don't think I'll be able to get the um, other one here. Um, attempt to top the tanks. Okay, that's not great. And what's that? That's an eradicator core. Allows permanent removal of planets' radioactivity. 
Lots of food. Wasn't there a place that needed food before? Okay, so here's the other thing is that we don't have a ton of like stuff right now. So maybe I don't need to be digging into all of these places until I have more stuff, but it's certainly good to know. But yeah, this is Apple, which also has ruins and a mining station and two unidentified contacts. And we almost just got busted. Very nearly got busted. We're just going to let that be for now. So yeah, the factions are like pushing each other really hard. So we have two out of three surveyed. I'm not as concerned about surveying the irradiated world. Except for stuff here, but let's go ahead and take the gate and let's um, get back to having our money here. And this is this is where, once again, oh god, I know it's tough watching me go dark, trying to fly through like hostile, hostile, hostile space. And to think, I'm stupid enough to be thinking about trying to colonize these places. It's almost like the uh, three little bears thing. It's like these beds are too infested with the killer AI. This porridge is too infested with killer AI, which means where's the one that's just right? Hard to say, but I'll just pop over here, fly through the gate, clean up our inventory a little bit, and put our stuff back at um, our supply area because it looks like we got some other shit going on here. So travel through the gate, back to the Joy Luck Club. Got to watch it. I almost didn't have enough fuel to do this. Once again, they're like, hey, wait a minute. Why is your gate on fire? Okay, well, we're back. And everything is on the wrong side of a blue supergiant. So that's something I'm not going to miss about this place. But yeah, here I was trying to think of scenarios or reasons for why I could make friends and kill my pirate commission and join somebody else who's pirate adjacent as a ragtag group of rebels and Iron Shell just comes over and says <laughs> so the sort of meta progression of this run is going we're level 4, almost level 5 which means the leadership tree is going to unlock at level 5 and I think Wolfpack Tactics might very well be the play early I don't think it's respec time at this point level seven is when we get our um, first um, fleet expansion which is one reason I've been trying to do so much um, just like movement let's get all this shit out of storage I know you're gonna prorate how much inventory space I'm taking it's fine and you all can have some organics no you can't Um, yeah, that puts us right on the border. So we're carrying a we're carrying a bunch of shit, and we need fuel, lots of fuel, a little more fuel. We need a few more supplies. Fortunately, your supply prices are fantastic. Unfortunately, we can't hold that many. I think we'll be fine. So we're definitely not going for ramen now. Epsilon Newton is a pile of sadness now. We had a glimmer of hope. Not only did that... Oh my god, the, hy the Hybers took over something. Um, Orbital 1, I read that as Capital 1 for a second, but Orbital 1 is now Orbital Hiver. That sucks. The Hivers are already infiltrating. Which I guess technically may be the uh, silver lining for wondering if this area is the play, is that we already have Hiver established shit over here too. So I guess for now, we just go to Epsilon the Spareth, and we're going to continue to explore a little bit more, trying to make our way down through here. And ideally, I like I said, I found some habitable places with gates, and that's good. There's just a pretty damn big catch. And what is going on here? I got a buffalo just floating around. Well, we don't have we don't have time for like all this damn salvage. Let's just let's just skedaddle. 
We'll let them fight while I've got some flying to do. All right. Hey, look, Oren Federation and Iron Shell with a diplomatic ceasefire. That'd be nice. And we got you guys over here once again. Passing through the core worlds always has its inherent risk of somebody detecting who I am and deciding, you know what, we're going to blow you out of the sky. You've been at large for years, but you know how cycles go in Star Sector. Time is not important, only life is important, blah, 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 blah. Wow, they already withdrew that. I wasn't going to do it anyway. Okay. But yeah, being able to shoot down some of these fights that I've had to skip would certainly be helpful. So that's what we're going to do. Or at least being able to shoot at things that I'd otherwise run away from. Okay, we're almost there. Alright. That's not what I wanted. So fortunately, our outpost is still good. Once again, I could totally make this work if I had a gate. But unfortunately, no gate. Alright, manage the colony. Well, apparently we do pick up supplies and fuel here. Okay, well that's that's cool. I I don't know when I picked up all those luxury goods. We've got we've got a ton of shit. By the way, just while we're here, confirm this please. Sort this please. Market rate for shit's not always good to do, by the way. We have some ordinance that we can add to this. Let's try an auto build for this first. Experimental. Burst point defense laser, laser, ion cannon. I don't know if that's the right move. I think I may want something better. Like that has a little more range, but can't we do like the critical disruptor for not too much more? Just give me, give me something with a little more oomph. Like, I get why you'd have the point defense lasers and the IR pulse laser and shit like that. Interesting. I like that. Is that a medium slot? That's weird. I don't know why that was fitting in there. Okay. We could always throw a Reaper in there. The AI, if the AI is going to be flying this, tends to do pretty all right with that. Or an antimatter blaster. Triceratops cute. Let's give it a Reaper. Why not? Giving the AI a Reaper class torpedo never ever goes wrong. Hardened subsystems is fun. Um, and stable injector could also be fun. Reinforced bulkheads, probably the play. So that makes it more likely to be recoverable. So maybe we start to have some uh, officers here for sure. Safety overrides, I'm still not 100% sure about, but we can go ahead and take this out of storage, which means we drop you down here. Welcome back to the flagship. Do we need to strip you of anything? I think we do. All right, cool. It's a good ship. We are going to make good use of it later. Um, refit, I still like this build. I like this build a lot. The game, the game, whoever made the mod and starts you off with this ship is much better than I am at designing ships. Com directory, there should be nobody here. There's an officer available for hire. 
hey Kim how'd you get stuck here what can you do no not for, not a cautious officer I'm sorry I want to be excited about you but I can't so in a pinch we can actually get some resources here all right that's exciting let's put you in storage and suddenly things are not so bad we'll put the Marines in storage too because they cost money okay more time get these out of storage because we can sell those for money all right so we still have this arsenal station and this orbital habitat that I can try to dig into and we still have this remnant fragment over here as patrolling and I guess it's just having a it's it's living its best life all right well no gate but maybe we can find a gate nearby here like I said there's nothing wrong with building outposts um, we just know that we got to look out for some danger systems here we did drop off an enemy that was um, relentlessly pursuing us somewhere around here so I'm a little scared to be flying back through this area of space because this is right around where we lost him but I do want to try to get to these black holes and we'll try to get down to these double star systems I think this is the scary place where we were like oh god here we go so I don't want to say that we're whipping in the wind right now because we're not we're actually making really nice progress it's just the early game here is always going to be a little bit different and the drama oh wow um, strike mission from the hivers I guess we're technically on a clock with the hivers right here but let's see we've got plenty of good space available what do you want to bet this has an ordo that is gonna come right for me I shouldn't have e-burned that hard but I really wanted to turn around here so we can just juke these guys by going out the other exit okay have we been here no is this a good system no is there potentially something in the middle of the accretion disk of the blue supergiant yes so we're going to check it anyway because we got the supplies, we got the time. It's two supplies per day now. Cuz we've got we've got a pretty big contingent of cargo ships now on top of some of the other ships that we have available. So this isn't this isn't just exploration all the time now. So that's probably nothing. That's got ruins. We're always looking for ruins here because that's where the loot pinata comes into play. Scattered ruins, but you never know. We can download. You can download a ship, a butterfly, an Arcos, a Spartan, or a Hammerhead. Well, the butterfly sure is the prettiest. The Arcos is Reuter Union boring. The Myser and Spartan, on the other hand, has medium, small, lots of tiny guns. I do, I do like that. Um, probably better than the Butterfly. Let's do that. And we got another one of the Drive Bubble Spikes. I do like that. All right. So we'll do a quick ping around the accretion disk. Looks like this system, as far as it goes, is pretty abandoned. So that's all well and good. Um, I'm going to assume there's nothing on the other side there. Or we can do one more ping over here. This all does take some time to explore your systems. Our monthly expenses, that was probably because of a drawdown from. Um, the stockpile's drawn for your fleet. That's where buying these things gets to be a little bit of an issue. That's why I'm trying to 
mostly buy from regular markets instead of buying at full price, but can't always get what you want. Okay, nothing doing. And we have the unstable arid world that could potentially have a something. We have our literal lavas just flowing over everywhere. All right. And this looks like it may just be a habitable planet, so. Yeah, it's just habitable. Let's survey it anyway. Poor farmland. So it's like, it's literally the Tatooine of anything. You just have, you just put up your little things to collect your morning dew and try to farm. And uh, then your child gets mad at you and does a shitty job training other Jedi. The end. Nothing else you need to know about that movie or any of them. Okay, we got the red beacon last time. Hey, this is this is where I played with fire. It really is. Okay. So now we know. And now we can just fly over here. I do want to check out this black hole system if I can. Looks like I can. So hey, look, we made it. That's a neutron friggin' star, by the way. Ouch. Hey, you know what's really great about this? Is that I um, accidentally did a whoopsie and the neutron star was not linked with the black hole. So we have a Starliner civilian transport. I don't think we actually have a research station here. Let's do a quick burst ping. We might. It might be over there, it might be up here. I'm not gonna stick around to stay right now. But it's good to know that it's there because those neutron stars can have research stations as well. All right. Speaking of which, God, that's a lot of planets here. That's probably a research station right there. Oh, God. They spotted us, didn't they? I saw the red. Red means we're dead unless it got sucked into the black hole. It got sucked into the black hole. Oh, you Agni. Oh, you better not be able to run away from the black hole. Okay, so we are going to hug this research station. It's like the eye of death, as it were. All right, so explore, continue. Fortunately, it's not being guarded by Agni. Unfortunately, we are short a little bit of heavy machinery that we're now not short of. That's actually a really good pop for all this. And I'm going to start thinking, instead of blindly learning all of these blueprints, I think I do need to pick and choose a little bit. Like, some of these are nice. I haven't exactly thought far enough ahead about what I want to do if I'm in position to build ships, if I'm even going to be building ships, or if I need to rely on third parties to do that. But let's double tap this first. Okay, nothing too exciting. Send some of that away. So we got a ping. I heard a growl. Thanks, game. I don't think I want to go for that. I think I want to get the fuck out of here. Yes, I do. Because there's our other friend. You're basking. You can just keep right on basking. All right, so we're just gonna captain's log this and say Agni again. They really, they really like, they really like just sitting in the middle of a black hole. Too bad, I got suggested by um, one of the viewers or one of the people on the Discord, he's Char on the Discord, he's known him as Tony Leapart in the last series. For one of the, one mod was, um, changing combat for how it works based on like your environment and it would have things like if you're fighting near a black hole everyone's gonna get like dragged and constantly get damage 
is a little too much. Ooh, that's a low warning beacon. I don't trust that color of low warning beacon. But we're going to check anyway. Just to see if there's a gate. There's not a gate. Yeah, I bet this is more basking in the sun like a bunch of little shits. Get me out of here. Okay. It's like the low beacons or the troll beacons, I guess. So what's our expenses this time? I get the outpost. Officer, crew payroll. If we cut our pirate commission, then we're just cutting our nose off, I guess. And fringy, fringy, fringy. And we're going to stop at this black hole here in just a minute. Like I said, I'm mainly just looking for gates. We do have a dust world, which is cute. Is there no star here? Oh, it's a... It's another neutron star. Well, I am lucky again. Let's try this. I might be able to I might be able to get this to work. All right. But I got to I got to time this real hard here. All right. Okay. We got two We got two debris fields. Not much else. Maybe something on that side of the star. So let's get a little bit closer because we got the other jump point here. As long as you're not basking in the sun. I could try to e-burn. But this is actually moving pretty fast, so we'll... Um, We'll let this go for a minute. But yeah, this is Asher with an even more star sector where um, I'm a little concerned for my sanity right now. Oh, that's right. These things are all going to like orbit at the same speed like little shits. Okay, let's do this. E-burn. Not like that. Okay, that's a uh, Bell Frigate and that is a uh, research station. That's what we wanted. Open the pods, and we got 68 marines. That's 68 more mouths to feed, damn it. Oh, alpha core. Yes, that's good. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, I love the blueprint there, too. Like I said, I haven't entirely decided what I want to do with the blueprints, so we're just going to hold on to them for a minute. And we're going to displace some metals here. Somehow we can manage to um, do a second round of this. We got the Hiver Plasma Weapon Blueprint Package. We've oh that's a that's some giant ass weaponry here. Thanks research station. Bye bye. We got a debris field. Open the pod and we get a second officer, Lieutenant Fourth Corn. What happened to the other three corns? We don't talk about that. Let's put Fourth Corn over here. What do we got? Fourth Corn. Oh, you look you look like a Fourth Corn. Um, I mean that with the uh, nicest, in the nicest way possible. Okay, so can we get this before getting blasted? Open the pods and we get 28 more crew. We're starting to lose our efficiency here. Fleet is over cargo capacity, so drop some more metal here. All right, well, but that's what I was saying before. If you want to ever get into the other side of a neutron star you literally the best move is just to go over the middle of it compared to getting blasted and jetted out in the side and stuck in the stream it's comparatively little damage so here we go this is probably another danger beacon if i had to guess it is and it's not only a danger beacon it's a green low beacon so we're going to go dark here and we're going to fringe jump and we're going to call this an episode because I have a hunch that we've just entered Agni space once again. So that's going to do it for this one. This is Asher. We have our default ship here available. We have an Alpha Core at last. And a lot of good stuff. But that, like I said, <coughs> we're trying to stifle a cough there and it didn't work. Sorry about that. I'm getting a lot of good shit. That's good. I want to get some more fights that I can win, which maybe means I need to try to poke some smaller fleets that are flying around. Maybe do some like little bounties or something. 
in the core worlds, although that's a little awkward since it's usually fight the pirates. But we're almost level five, just on the back of exploring. So that's awesome. But yeah, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time. I hope you are too. I know it's a little bit of a different run than just shoot, 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 blast, blast, blast. Fight, fight, fight all the time. But even then, self-found, we're not doing bad. And self-found, this counts. Like, it does. What it, what, is it, what does it mean? I don't know yet, but this is all shit I found. I can make some use of it, maybe, probably, possibly. But yeah. And it could be it gets to the point where we, we earn it. I don't know. But for now, I've survived. That's good enough for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.